Well, welcome back everybody welcome to basically another video of me just breaking down a current game that i want to play and this time it is the new year's the show 24. so basically in the last pretty much four years i basically buy this game every year because i'm a huge baseball fan if anybody didn't know but basically i'm in love with this uh, franchise the gameplay is always there for me it's always reliable People like to shit on it because probably because it's the pretty much the only like baseball game there is by a triple A studio. But I personally enjoyed every year. And I'm personally excited for MLB 24 because Vladdy is the cover athlete. And I love it when a J is the cover left cover athlete. Last cover athlete for a J basically was the Canadian edition of MLB 16 the show at Josh Donaldson as a friend. But now we have Vladdy. So let's get right into it. Let's see what the changes are this year. Or the gameplay changes are this year. So every year we strive to deliver the best possible gaming experience for our players. We integrate new features while refining and improving our, our existing systems. This year we introduce around 400 new animations and logic improvements. Addressing any remaining areas that need attention. Particularly focusing on feed, fielder urgency animations. Sorry. Focusing on fielder urgency. Animations are uh, fine tuned to ensure seamless integration in every conceivable situation from routine plays to relays off the wall to high pressure moments like rundowns and run saving double, uh, double play sound and any. Thank God. I don't know how many times last year where I, I personally hit, uh, where the enemy, uh, sorry, the opposing person hits a routine ground ball to my shortstop. And they take their sweet ass time like Kirk is running the base pass. But instead, it's probably Acuna, who has basically 90 speed, who is a speed demon on the base pass. And he's taking a sweet ass time because he thinks he has all day. Thank God the AI needs to be tuned up. And it should be adjusted towards, OK, this guy's a high level threat, OK? So we need to get rid of the ball as fast as we can we can't take our sweet ass goddamn time because i swear some of these times like some of the animations i would say 95 percent sorry i'll say 98 percent of the animations are there the problem is it's that two percent where they're at clutch situations where you got that clutch double play to end this inning then you especially when you everybody has 99s and everybody probably has like some teams have like everybody 99 and focus on speed more than uh, other things. And it's just so annoying. It feels like you have to play everybody in and play a specific defensive arrangement just to get like a guaranteed double play each time. But like, then it causes you to sacrifice what happens. If there's a hot shot coming at you. So thank God they're making the AI smarter. Okay, so by prioritizing smarter AI and efficient animations, we strive to elevate realism and strategic depth of defensive gameplay. Good, good. New animations, roughly 400. Okay, good, good. New throws. Okay, so... I know sometimes MLB 23, in particular, when a first baseman makes a play, it's to, I think it's to eliminate the people who like to round third and bully like really weak players into round third and then sometimes the first baseman will get lost in the animation trying to make a play so that's good so let's see so first base so it's hit to the shortstop scoop home okay that was pretty seamless that's something vladi would do in a game i like let's just so just watch it again so ball hits to the shortstop animation Good, good. I'm not gonna lie, that animation from that shortstop is actually pretty good. Damn, it's because like you, oh, they, I, like people might be looking at first base in that situation, but I'm looking at that shortstop. That was a very smart play by the AI trying to make that play. I like that's pretty good. That that's a good change. Um, to combat new gauge. Disengagement rules, additional animations to allow pitchers to step off to fake throw and potentially nab the runner, trying to take advantage of the third disengagement. Thank God. 
I am so goddamn tired of having a pickoff situation where it's like they're trying to get my guy who I got on base who hit a single up the middle and he's just trying to pick him off because he know you're going to try to steal with a 99 guy. Thank God they're introducing the disengagement rule because I'm so tired of like having five fucking pickoffs and just waiting for me, like waiting for the next pitch to come. Base sizes. Fan will also notice the new base sizes in 24, and of course, we'll capture the new logic and tag animations to account for extra coverage needed. Not too bad. I like. Our mission is to offer total control of the players on the field and provide opportunity to make every play base uh, uh, on the player's attributes and tendencies. That's good. New improvements to existing features along with the game and interface balancing are the backbone of yearly updates for a team our goal is to continue to create the mo most realistic baseball experience along with empowering players with total control over the field and actions ultimately making sure player skill and team creations are the determining factors this comes down to my personal opinion where i think a big portion of team creation negates the position of catchers Catchers are the backbone of every baseball team, especially in the show itself. And the fact that this game, like, just, like, it's an afterthought. You put, you don't put primary catchers in the, like, you don't put good defensive catchers in, in these systems. You put high defense guys with above average fielding. They need to, I think they need to incorporate a player skill, like, like a good balancing mechanism of what type of catchers are better likely to steal a strike for you. So this is my personal opinion. I think this might be a good change maybe in the future is you shrinking up the strike zone just a little bit. However, you have a attribute feature where like framing strikes or something like that, where you can steal a strike when it comes to, um, when it comes to the attribute. So, like, you have, like, catchers like Austin Hedges, who are incredible ball framers. Or you have uh, Kirk, again, last year, who had a down off uh, for the offensive side, but he was incredibly in the field. Like, these, like, catchers like Austin Hedges and, some, and like, Kirk last year, they get pushed off to the side because they're not a dominant hitting force. They'll have their moments, but they're, they're like, they're no... A Rod or no Bear, Babe Ruth, right? But uh, I think maybe incorporating a uh, giving the option for a catcher where it's like, are you will you want to sacrifice your hitting, or maybe potentially to gather another borderline strike, or would you prefer to focus on more of a hitting catcher? I think maybe introducing that might be a good, maybe a, maybe a good balancing feature, maybe a good thing for flexibility. Our dedication to continuously uh, the gameplay mechanics, we carefully analyze feedback received year over year, identifying areas of refinement, as well as any significant pain points like the par mechanic while pitching, for example. Par for those joining us for the first time stands for perfect accuracy region. Okay, so basically you hit X or uh, A, depending on if you're Xbox. Uh, basically the shaded area around the ball when you're about to pitch or with pinpoint. Breaking pitches such as the 12 to 6 will always land within the perfect region. It will no longer just touch the par, but will have a have a portion of the ball inside. That's good. They need to buff curveballs. Curveballs are probably I think every single curveball except the sweeper, I believe. It's just the 12 6 curveball and the knuckle curve. Are the three weakest pitches in the game. So they need to buff those. Even though they're probably the more dominant pitches in real life. Another interface that saw changes and improvements was pinpoint for four new pitching gestures. I like. So you get the lefty knuckle curve, the sinker, and the slurve. So it looks like even though the knuckle curve is probably the worst pitch in the game, they got the lefty knuckle curve, probably one of the harder mechanics to use. Okay. Uh, sinker doesn't look too bad. In, down, up, down. Yeah, that's okay. 
I think the biggest thing is I think I saw they will now flip for a lefty's perspective. That's good. Because you take the 14 that's there and you turn it into 28 gesture pitching gestures you need to learn. And that causes a huge, I think that causes a pretty good skill gap for some people that it might make a difference because again, this game is all like, again, this game and just like the real life game, it's all about decision. And a millimeter can change the difference. So I think that's a really good change. Pitching is a little bit too easy right now. And not that reliable when it comes to the last few pitches, but that is a very good change. I like. Uh, we covered defensive fielding and pitching, but we also moved to hitting as well. We received positive feedback around most aspects of the gameplay throughout the course of the MLB show. And we agree that hitting is a great place at the moment in order to carry the momentum forward. Okay, so 24 hitting balance will remain largely unchanged. That's good. 23 had a borderline perfect mechanic when it comes to the hitting engine. And at most, you why, why fix what's not broken? Right? Unlike 22, 23 had a really good system. 22 was kind of trash when it came to hitting. Like, it was way too easy. Especially, you could take balls that were low and away outside of the strike zone and take them over to the right field fence. Like, it was pretty bad sometimes. But I like 23. They punish you for hitting balls outside the zone. And they really make you work for it in 23 like the skill gap was there however i think they need to in court i do think they need to adjust it just a bit when it comes to foul balls but at the same point not too bad i like it it's a good chain or a good uh good foundation for 23 24 i think if you maintain the same thing but maybe tweak maybe the frequency of some of the stuff it'll be a good change uh let's see so that's pretty much everything, I believe. That's everything for now. Let's get right into the trailer that they release. And hopefully we see anything new, but it's probably more just on the animation base. Okay, nothing too special. Just pretty much just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, it was just pretty much that gameplay. I guess a gameplay trailer, even though we didn't see any gameplay. We just saw pretty much animations. So let's let's do a small recap. So basically, they're doing new animations for defensive stuff, new throws, the new disengagement combat system or system. That's good. Base sizes are being adjusted. Again, that's hit or miss or there. That's pretty much just like a rule update. Uh, I think the big thing is pinpoint. Uh, probably a good buff to curveballs, but we'll see. I don't think it will change that much, but I think the I what I really like is sorry, voice crack. Uh, what I really like is the addition of uh basically making sinkers a lot harder to use. And so, again, increasing the uh, good, fine, minute skill gap. And then also incorporating, basically, an, an extra 14 uh, pitching gestures that will cause, again, another increased skill gap. I think pretty much, I like all these changes. Pre pretty much, you're, you're basically making, you're taking 23 and making a, a wider skill gap when it comes to pitching. And that's a good thing. The animations are going to be there. It really, I like this. I want to see some other animations. But what I saw, like in this situation, what I really like, where you see the an animation for the shortstop, he's rushing his throw. Nice little scoop by the first baseman. And it just seems so fluid. Like, I, I give them props. This is a good, I think, again, maybe it's just this in particular. Maybe this was the one good. System, <laughs> our video they got, but 
I would say the shortstop trying to rush his throw because you got a fast per person running down first base. Nice little scoop by the catcher. It seems like Vladdy's being thrown out of home like usual. So all in all, everything's there. I like the changes. I like everything I see. Nothing is being done to hitting. That's a good thing. So hopefully everybody, and that's it, everybody. Hope everybody has a wonderful time. And hopefully everybody enjoys the beautiful weather out there because like we all love, well, currently for me, it's raining. But if you haven't, <laughs> enjoy the rest of your night, everybody. Stay tuned for more content. And hopefully uh, when this game comes out on March 19th, I'll be demonstrating probably the new uh, features and stuff within this game. And stay tuned for more updates to MLB 24 The Show and other other games that I'm more interested to play.